those are going there for what it's all you from Marshall. That was today. Is February 17, 2021, and today we're going to keep track of this major winter storm that's going to affect a lot of the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. But before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content. Make sure to like if you like this video. Make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather related content. So let's take a look at the current radar, and as you can see, there's a large area of snow extending from Arkansas, Minnesota, and throughout Tennessee and Kentucky as of right now. And you see just right around the rain and snow line, there's a lot of heavy, heavier snow squads forming right around this area. This is where the area of convergence is, where a lot of that Arctic air is is interacting with that very warm Gulf of Mexico air. And as a result, it creates very buoyant air molecules a lot to create the, um, those heavy amounts of precipitation where the condensation is very rapid, the evaporation is very rapid, and just a lot very strong updrafts in this region, which is causing a lot of convection and as a result, very heavy snow bands at times right around northern Mississippi and southern Arkansas. So this is expected to continue all throughout the night, and it's going to be very important to find out where exactly that convergent, that zone of convergence is, because that will definitely help determine who will get the heaviest snowfall um, ahead as we head closer and closer to event in the mid Atlantic and, and the Northeast. So you see that this snow, although it isn't as heavy towards Tennessee and Kentucky, we still do see areas of moderate snow. So definitely keep that in mind because that moderate snow, while not as heavy as heavy snow, obviously, we, um, it still could pile up and cause some havoc on the roadways. And obviously we're seeing a lot of ice throughout Northern Louisiana and Mississippi, which is unfortunate because this the southeast has just got pounded by a ton of ice and it was just very cold temperatures well below average where there's a lot of power outages going on and i wish you guys all the best in the southeast however this storm is only going to add insult to injury because it's going to bring a lot more ice to a lot of the same areas in the southeast which is definitely something we don't want to see and um, in terms of what the computer models are saying so when we're talking about a storm 24 hours out it's pretty certain what's going to happen there aren't going to be any drastic changes and any small changes um could occur definitely and at times could make a drastic impact however i'd say the confidence is pretty much certain almost at this point where we're going to see a big snow storm throughout the northeast and extending to the southeast as well as the storm is already shaping up exactly the way the computer models forecast so i don't expect any major variation to completely change the forecast so if you're under five to eight inches of snow you need to prepare for five to eight inches of snow in the northeast since it's unlikely so and don't hope for any major changes because i don't see it occurring um, especially when we're only a day out and both uh, uh, computer models are in agreement. So what's going to form this storm is you see that the uh, this the radar as of right now approximately around the same time and you see that um, it's pretty accurate with its representation of how the radar looks if we compare the GFS model to the current radar as of right now you're going to see that they're pretty much exactly the same almost and if we continue to move forward based off of what's currently happening if we move six hours forward you see that the snow will extend further northward and the jet stream will be in in an orientation where it's going to steer the storm further to the north and east and um there was uncertainty over the past several days whether um, where exactly this will turn up northward because if this turned up northward a little bit closer to the west and that would mean more of a rain threat for a lot of the coastal cities and more snow for the midwest however if it took the track if it took um that track north further eastward then that would mean a lot more snow along coastal cities and less snow for the midwest and it now seems like the computer models have decided that the most likely and pretty much almost guaranteed scenario is that this old pressure system will move just far enough to the east to where a lot of major cities in the northeast will get impacted by heavy snowfall for the most part. There could be some mixing at times, especially around the Interstate 95 corridor where we do see some ice accumulate or maybe some sleet um, further northward where the ice threat isn't as large. But for the most part, it will be a, a snow event for a lot of the coastal cities, which includes New York City, Philadelphia, and even Washington, D.C. 
should expect a decent amount of snow from this and Boston should expect a lot of snow from this storm and even um and pretty much all New England it will be an all snow event and um the the places that need to worry about any sort of mixing is just south of the interstate 95 corridor where you could mix with a little bit of ice or some rain which could limit the snowfall totals for you guys and um, while the forecast is pretty certain at this point again any couple mile difference could make a big difference in your temperatures and if the storm is a little bit further to west that could um, change the forecast to maybe an additional one to two inches for some of you guys closer along the coast however it could go the complete opposite and you receive little to no snow from this however i think it's pretty certain that mostly everyone in the northeast will experience at least some sort of snowfall accumulation and it's because that as the storm moves up northward the war the warm air won't be felt won't be far enough northward to really uh, um, make this snow change the snow into rain as obviously the war the warm core of this storm will be surrounding low pressure system and the low pressure system will steer moisture up northward closer to this ridge bringing down a lot of arctic air and as a result of that, a lot of cities, especially even on the coast, are going to get um, snow from this storm, some type of accumulating storm, and it might change back over to rain for some areas, more specifically the extreme southeastern portions of New Jersey and Delmar Peninsula. It's likely to change over to rain. However, initially, it's going to be snow as the slow pressure system is too far south to bring any sort of very warm core um air closer um to those areas so um for the most part i pretty much expect the entire northeast to make to get accumulating snowfall from this and it could change over the rain in some areas or some areas it might be lighter such as northern new england but accumulating snowfall seems likely out of this storm and the european model also agrees with this forecast so there's very high certainty between the computer models regarding this forecast so any drastic changes aren't likely to happen but let's take a look at the future cast radar because it gives a good idea of what when to expect the impacts of this storm when to expect the heavy snow the heavy freezing rain and so if we continue to move forward you're gonna see that um oh my oh my mouse is frozen give me a sec okay so if we continue to move forward you see that by t later tonight the snow eventually leaves Mississippi and Louisiana but it's gonna bring a decent amount of ice and snow in those regions so you, um, it's gonna only add insult to injuries from what you already experienced but this snow will extend to Kentucky and Tennessee further um, headed into 11 p.m. on Wednesday then by right around very early Thursday we begin to see the snow approach a lot of mid-Atlantic states such as Pennsylvania and we see heavy snow just right around West Virginia and the snow eventually leaves Kentucky I'd say right around 3 a.m. and will approach Virginia as the storm continues to move east and for a lot of the Ohio River Valley states they're going to miss out on the bulk of the snow mainly because low pressure is going to be too far east of you guys to bring any sort of major, major precipitation or a lot of convergent energy towards this area to bring to create a lot of convection so as a result you guys will miss out on most of the snow from this and you see that headed into very early thursday 7 a.m thursday just extremely heavy snow throughout virginia and extending to washington dc and maryland where these snowfall rates i i could say they're almost equivalent to one inch per hour or maybe even further and further ahead in the forecast you see that headed into 10 a.m the heaviest snow approaches the delmar peninsula new jersey and you see the snow is also extending to pennsylvania and for the most part it's a mostly snow all snow event for a lot of the coast and we and maybe l very late in the after well i'd say very early in the afternoon we might see a little bit of mixing approach the coast uh um, right around the delmar uh, delmarva peninsula and new jersey However, for the most part, for a lot of big cities in the Northeast, such as Washington, D.C. And, um, and Philadelphia and New York City, there should be an all snow event and for the mo and it'll bring heavy snow to you guys. And this should be worse right around the morning time. And then by 
the afternoon on Thursday, majority of the snowfall should be over for you guys. And this will also affect Boston. Keep in mind, South New England will get involved. So this is expected to be quite a big and very impactful event of bringing a lot of snow and it'll create havoc during your rush hour. In terms of my total snowfall forecast is based off of what the two main computer models are saying. And you see a large area of six to 12 inches throughout um, throughout the mid-Atlantic, especially the coastal mid-Atlantic, right around the Interstate 95 corridor, extending from Washington, D.C. to um, Philadelphia to New York City, and even just south of Boston could receive 6 to 12 inches of snow. And then just to the northwest of that and just to the west and north of that, we're going to see 3 to 6 inches as obviously since the storm this since the slow pressure system is going to be ways away off the coast um it will it won't bring as much snow there won't be as much heavy squall lines approaching you guys so a little bit less snow and to be honest looking back i think i exaggerated a little bit how much snow the Delmar Peninsula will receive because it probably won't receive as much however i'd expect these six inches right around Delmar Peninsula as well however snowfall is one of the is not the only threat you guys need to be worrying about as there's also a very extremely de um, bad ice threat where you see louisiana could get up to uh three quarters of an inch of ice which is just devastating and it's going to add on to what you already experienced so this will be bad for a lot of louisiana and it's saying the mississippi you might see ice as well and north carolina and virginia we could get get this up to an inch of ice which is just devastating and it's one of the worst um to be honest to see just one inch of ice that's just very very bad and dangerous and it's very hard to experience in the united states even by how extreme our weather is so you guys in virginia need to pay very close attention to this is just going to be a very bad ice threat and even Washington DC could get involved, the Delaware Peninsula and southern New Jersey could get involved. So this is expected to be just a very bad snow event and you guys need to take precaution and do not take this storm lightly because it's going to be, it's expected to be very, very dangerous and bad and I want you to keep you guys safe. But anyways guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather day content. Make sure to like if you like this video. And make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather day content. And I hope you guys have a good day.